emu deck on the steam deck now i wasn't originally going to do a video on this because i kind of just assumed that other people would cover it and i wouldn't really have much else to say but although emu deck is a fantastic tool and it's only going to get better over time it's not quite as good for me as i was expecting it to be i've had some issues if you haven't heard of emu deck before essentially it simplifies the process of emulation on the steam deck hence the name emu deck it does everything for you and it simplifies everything to the point where it's literally just a couple of taps it's sort of but on the other hand the process was not quite as seamless as I was hoping it to be. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I probably should have been recording this the whole time, but I didn't. Anyway, so I went through the whole process on the uh, on the page. So I've got it open on this browser here. All of this. Well, at first, the issue I was having was a bit here. It says now close Steam, run Steam ROM Manager. That was fine. And then it said click on preview. It just constantly kept on coming up with Steam's open, even though it wasn't. So I was like, okay, great. I don't know what's happening. As you can see here, you still have to have the console open as you're configuring it. And you have to do it this way. And that's how it works so you can't just uh click this steam rom manager here uh, afterwards you have to do it all in one go kind of thing the second of all is already had dolphin configured and so that's why it was only having emulation station here and the rest of my roms weren't showing up but they are now so basically if you want to run emu debt if you want to set that up make sure you don't have any other emulators set up first and if you do have any emulators set up first you have to uninstall them and then go this way so on the one hand it does everything for you and that's fantastic but if you already have emulators set up it's actually going to be more more painful than you would think it would be so keep that in mind if you set this up and there we are look at that so obviously i've got like skyward sword here mario kart wii mario kart strikers all the rest of it and they look like actual steam games hey look at that nor do i think it actually is using dolphin this time because before under emulation station it was just using retro watch i'm actually not the biggest fan of retro watch because it's great if you know what you're doing but it does go over my head a bit so i prefer to just use dolphin because i'm more familiar with that not only that but initially it's only 480p like the standard resolution of 570p depending on which region you are but on the dolphin you can actually have it upscaled and you can do this retro watch as well like you can set that up but again to me it's just easier to set up in dolphin than it is in retro watch i don't know but yeah it is at full res now and it looks really nice it's really cool because everything just works out of the box and emulation can be really confusing if you don't know what you're doing <gasps> look it's even got my save because on the retro watch you didn't have my save but my save's back so that's really cool <laughs> as long as you just let emu deck do its thing and don't mess around with anything during the process just do exactly as it tells you and it works if you mess around like i do it doesn't end that well for you <laughs> so in dolphin i wanted to change the controls so that it's a bit more intuitive so i wanted to try and configure it right and i know it's on this preset at the moment but if i click say b here nothing I can't configure it and to prove to you that it isn't you know just dolphin being dolphin if I quit out of this and I go to options and then hotkeys because I've just been configuring the hotkey but if I go to next game profile here and I click where it won't let me do keyboard inputs but I can do like gamepad inputs like A or something there you go I can do that just fine but it won't let me configure on the other one so again on the one hand it's great that it just sets everything up for you but on the other hand it won't let you really configure anything at least in my experience it's not perfect so I just did some ever so slight tinkering with trying to make a new controller layout and even though now as you can see in the corner here i can change each controller configuration which is cool but nothing works anymore apparently the second you touch anything it all just breaks down so just by changing the controller from disconnected to mu xbox 360 controller ever it was to just xbox 360 controller i've at least got it working now so that's working which is pretty cool but again i just have to stick with the default layout which is a bit annoying because i don't know why i can't just make my own custom layout because that shouldn't affect it too much at all but at least at the moment it won't let me do that i don't know what i'm doing a whole bunch of noise stuff started outside so i don't know how well you can hear me exactly but i have to use the mouse ironically because the mouse doesn't work in gaming mode but what i found out is that the way that emu deck makes sure that the on-screen glitch thing doesn't happen where you can't full screen and have dolphin open at the same time is that as you can see it opens dolphin first but it goes directly to the rom i found that really interesting and after testing it for a bit i've actually found that the performance is slightly weird so here look i'm actually filming at 60 fps now Ooh. look at the frame rate graph up, up in the corner as you can see there's huge stutters like really bad stutters and then all of a sudden it's not fine with no stutters at all i'm really not sure what's going on but at the moment it seems to be running at a solid 60 fps and it's absolutely fine trying to see the screen while doing this at the same time and now look at this some huge frame rate drops 
for absolutely no reason. And I know it's not the emulator because if we go into desktop mode, so if I open New Super Mario Bros Wii from here, so we get through all the menus and everything, just give me a second. So here we are, we're back into the menu and it's on the exact same settings. It's the same Dolphin emulator, right? Not a single frame rate drop. I can go back and forth, back and forth like this and it'll be fine. Now you might be saying, well, it's probably just because you're looking at the frame rate counter or something, but I've already played this in multiple modes and for some reason it runs a lot better in desktop mode than it does in gaming mode. I'm not sure why, but then I didn't have this when I set up Dolphin myself. So something about Emudeck, although certainly makes it things a lot more convenient, is actually dropping frames or having frame rate issues. But hopefully in like an update or something, they'll be able to fix this. And I don't know exactly what I've done. Even if I go to like Mario Kart Wii here or just any of my Wii games uh, through Emulation Station, it just crashes just completely. I was going to double check RetroArch to see if that ran Wii games better, but I mean, at this rate, who knows what's going to happen. Right, and we're back on the main camera now. So I want to try a couple of PSP games. So for example, if we go here to flat out head on, as you can see here, it seems to be running absolutely fine. Like obviously, even though it says 60 FPS in the corner, it's actually only running at 30 FPS. And even when you try using the frame rate limiter, it just dies. So there's no point doing that. It is only 30, but even still, it is running absolutely fine at 30 FPS using uh, the RetroArch PPSSPP call. From my testing, I did like at least one race on this and flat out head on runs absolutely fine. Now, if we go to Gran Turismo, for example, has the splash screen running absolutely normally. Come on, get through the splash screens. Oh, look at that. So after we get to the splash screens, for some reason, Gran Turismo PSP runs at three frames per second. Now you can't really see that well on the camera unfortunately. Why it's running at this I don't know because on the standalone PPSSPP core it's running absolutely fine. But on the RetroArch it doesn't work. One nap later. So I was just booting up Grand Jusman again just to see what happened and apparently it's now working. So you can get into game just fine but let's play a little game called Guess the Problem. I'll give you a couple of seconds. I won't really. I'll tell you what it is now right now. There's no text and a lot of menu stuff has no text. So if I go to the track, no text. Car select action no text and if we get into the race as you can see we are in there and pretty much everything 3d is loading just fine so i can drive you know obviously most of the controls work although for some reason changing the camera is also pause as well and also sometimes it just won't work we change camera angles now or not hello a little later there you go and then going back to the retro arch menu fixes it basically i think a lot of these issues are more on retro arch is it retro arc or retro arch i'm not sure than uh emu deck itself but yeah please don't use this core from now on at least until it's you know configured better because again this is literally just straight out of the box i haven't messed around with anything i don't think now if we go to loco roco as you can see loco roco is running absolutely fine i've been playing this for like what an hour 20 minutes something like that look he's so scared or something i don't know 60 fps the game works absolutely fine in my experience i haven't had any frame rate issues or stutters or anything like that that's pretty good Ooh. but then if we open midnight club for example it's not even that it's crashed it's just not rendering I guess. Okay, well, something did something there. Is it going to play then? Because when I first tested this, it just didn't open. Okay, well, so far the cutscenes are working. Okay, <laughs> so it's fully functioning, I guess. But there's a visual glitch at the beginning of it that won't tell you anything. I don't think I actually tested Midnight Club under standalone PPSSPP, so I don't know exactly what it looks like. Oh, what is happening in the background? That... That's not good. Oh, okay. Well, it's having some pretty bad frame rate issues, actually. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stuttering as well and glitching and... Wow, okay. So it's still playable. It's not horrendous by any means, but yeah, it is like jumping up to 60 and then going down to 30 and then in like the mid 40s ish. And again, because this is the emulator doing it, Steam isn't picking it up. So it's saying it's a full 60, even though it very obviously isn't. Now, I don't know how well you can pick it up on camera because obviously it's only recording at 30 FPS. But yeah, this certainly isn't an optimal experience. So that's the video. Overall, as I've said, I don't know how many times now, MU Deck is really cool and I really want to see it uh, develop further and further and developers have a Patreon link if you want to go and support them and help them to make the program better. But if you're not able to do that, then that's fine. But MU Deck helps simplify the process and helps make sure that you install everything correctly and get everything just up and running. Its biggest upside is also its biggest downside to me personally at least. On the one hand, it's an absolute fantastic tool that just simplifies everything. On the other hand, it's not nearly as customizable as I would have liked it to be. It can be very temperamental if you want to customize something, which yeah, you could argue that's user error. That's like, you know, that's my fault for changing this or changing that. But even in Dolphin in particular, configuring the controller inputs, I wanted to change a couple of bits so that it would work, say, better with Super Paper Mario or with Mario Kart Wii or something, but it physically wouldn't let me. And that's something that I had no issue with on the standard installation of Dolphin. If you 
you literally just want to get emulated games up and running, if you just want to get PSP, Wii, everything before that, just running, you don't really care if it runs that well or you don't really care to configure it at all, you just want it up and running, Emu Deck is perfect. I'd say just stick with what they do and it's fine. But if you're like me, who I don't really understand how Steam ROM Manager works that well, that's completely new to me and adding things to Steam is something that I'm not used to doing. On Windows, I would just boot its own launcher. I didn't really add everything to Steam because it didn't integrate that well and all the rest of it. So for me personally, I want to configure it a little bit so I can have custom controls or especially with PSP, I don't really want to use the RetroArt for because PPS as PP as a standalone app seems to work a lot better in my experience. But either I've got to try and dig into the settings and configure that myself or I've just got to completely add PPS as PP as a non-Steam thing and do all that. So for me, it's like I'm a bit conflicted. So at the very least, having an option between choosing RetroArch and choosing the standalone app if it's available through Flatpak obviously or through App Image, that would be a much better solution. Like for example with, with Emulation Station which you can also have as an add-on, that only uses RetroArch. But even then, at first Wii games did run fine but later on, I don't know, I think I did something to it, I don't know what I did, but now Wii games don't boot at all under RetroArch so <laughs> I don't know what's going on but as far as I know it's only been out for a couple of weeks, like it might have been a bit longer, maybe like a month or something but it really hasn't been out that long. So after I'd say give it a couple weeks, maybe even a month and it should be a much better experience hopefully. They even intend to do a flat pack which I think would be a lot easier for people like me who aren't programmers you know who don't really know much about the programming side of stuff. Overall it's a really cool tool but just have a couple of issues and I hope it gets better over time. Thank you so much for watching I've got a PS3 in the background so if you want to see on the TV so if you want to see me with soft mod Wii or a PS3 and see what you can do with it then let me know and I'm going to go and play my Steam Deck now see.